हे एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न अबाउट वाटर इन वोम ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी इट इज कॉल्ड एमनियोटिक फ्लूड वाई दिस एमनियोटिक फ्लूड फॉर्म ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी वॉट आर द फंक्शन ऑफ एमनियोटिक फ्लूड हाउ दिस एमनियोटिक फ्लूड फॉर्मेशन अकर्स वॉट इज द नॉर्मल वॉल्यूम ऑफ एमनियोटिक फ्लूड ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी हाउ वी कैन कलेक्ट द एमनियोटिक फ्लूड सैम्पल for amniotic fluid analysis and in the last you will learn what is the normal colors of amniotic fluid and if amniotic fluid's color is abnormal then what it means let's begin the video guys you are watching for nurses preparation with neeraj kumar kathal amniotic fluid found in amniotic sac amniotic fluid is a clear slightly yellowish liquid that surrounds the unborn baby during pregnancy fetus floats in the amniotic fluid volume of amniotic fluid increases as the fetus grows almost 1 liter of amniotic fluid surrounds the fetus at full term functions of amniotic fluid amniotic fluid act as a cushion and protect fetus from injury amniotic fluid offers freedom of fetal movement and permits musculoskeletal development it is also a source of oral fluid to the fetus amniotic fluid has a bacteriostatic activity bacteriostatic means a substance that stops the growth of bacteria and provides healthy environment short term nutrient supply also done by the amniotic fluid how the formation of amniotic fluid occurs it is composed of different substances that reach or removed from amniotic cavity amniotic fluid contain products of fetal metabolism it includes fetal urine appears in the fluid pulmonary secretions of the fetus oronasal secretions and more important volume of amniotic fluid Amniotic fluid volume increases throughout pregnancy up to 800 to 1200 ml. In third trimester, amniotic fluid amount decreases gradually prior to delivery of fetus. If the amniotic fluid is more than 1200 ml, this condition is known as polyhydramnios. If the amniotic fluid amount is less than 800 ml, this condition is known as oligohydramnios now let's discuss about the amniocentesis procedure removal of sample of amniotic fluid is called amniocentesis it can be done at the 14th week of pregnancy purpose of amniocentesis to predict the severity of hemolytic disease to assess fetal maturity to detect fetal sex to discover genetic and developmental disorders example down syndrome in high risk patients to assess lungs maturity of fetus can also detect cleft lip heart problems and more sample collection ultrasound imaging is used to guide the procedure withdrawal of small amount approximately 25 to 35 ml of fluid by inserting needle into the abdomen container amber plastic transport tube with amber stopper or transparent tube covered with al foil is used color normally amniotic fluid is colorless or pale yellow abnormal colors of amniotic fluid yellow orange it is indicative of blood incompatibility and the presence of bile pigment released from rbc lysis brown colored amniotic fluid it may be due to the severe hemolysis condition green colored amniotic fluid it is due to contamination with meconium turbidity may be turbid because of presence of different cell types blood is streaked it is due to traumatic tap or abdominal trauma if the amniotic fluid is dark red brown in color it means fetal death
so everyone this is all important about the water in womb during pregnancy or amniotic fluid analysis thank you so much friends for watching this complete video if you find this video is helpful then please click upon the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe our youtube channel for nurses preparation for more such interesting videos all the best